In this question, we have a 30-year-old man presented to the clinic with complaints of joint pain, especially in the hands and the wrists. He's feeling exhausted and having a rash on his chest and his back that is worse after spending time outdoors. On examination, there's an erythematous maculopapular rash over the sun-exposed areas and swelling and tenderness over the metacarpophalangeal and proximal interphalangeal joints. Lab test shows the presence of high titer anti-nuclear antibodies and antibodies specific for proteins associated with small nuclear RNA. What critical cellular process is most directly affected by these proteins here? So that photosensitive rash, the fatigue, the arthritis, and also the ANA, all that tells us lupus, especially those antibodies against the proteins that are associated with the small nuclear RNA. That's the anti-SM antibodies, which is highly specific for SLE. And the small nuclear ribonuclear proteins, the SNR. NPs. These are super important for mRNA splicing, and they're really important for post-transcriptional processing. So for this one, we have to know that the anti-SM antibodies in lupus are going to target the part of the spliceosome complex. So looking at our answer choices, correcting mismatch, base pairs would be like Lynch syndrome. Facilitating transport of proteins in mitochondria would be like the TOM or the TIM complexes as translocate stuff, not relevant. Initiating the priming of the DNA replication. Well, that's like DNA primase, so no. That's a replication process, not RNA processing. How about replicating the lagging strand? Well, that's the Okazaki fragments, right? That's DNA replication specific, not SNRNPs. So the answer is going to be D, processing pre-messenger RNA into mature messenger RNA. So let's check in on our patient, see what he's doing. Looks like he's got some joint pain, maybe in his hands and his wrists, and maybe he's feeling a little bit tired. He's got a rash on his chest. Maybe it gets worse when he's spending time outdoors, and he's got some red, rashy stuff over some exposed areas, and also swelling of these MCPs in the PIP joints. That's our patient. If you found this helpful, then like and subscribe.